So in this video we are going to define what an ideal of a commutative ring is. So an ideal of a commutative uh, ring of a commutative ring R is a subset I of R and this subset will have the following properties so the additive identity should be here in the ideal to if A and B are in the ideal that means that A plus B is also in the ideal and 3 uh, if A is in the ideal and R is in the ring, that means that RA is in the ideal. So, if we have a ring here, here we'll have an ideal. So, there will be an element 0 here. If you pick element A and element B, if you add any A and B in the ideal, that element will be also in the ideal. And if you, you have the element A here, and you have an element R here in the ring, uh, A times R, the multiplication, will be also in the ideal okay so the subset of the ring if it has these three properties it will be called an ideal okay if we pick the ring itself of course the ring itself as a subset of the ring will be an ideal and if you pick uh, the subset with uh, singleton zero, that will be also an ideal. Okay, all these properties um, are respected if we pick those these two. Okay, so these are the trivial ideals, so to speak. Okay. And any commutative ring will always have these two ideals. But if you pick an ideal that is different from the ring, then we call this one a proper ideal. Okay, those two are not proper ideals. Uh, a subset that is different from R, but and not only the elements here, is a proper ideal. Okay, another proposition. If we have this ring homomorphism from commutative ring A to commutative ring R, we can say that the kernel of the homomorphism F is an ideal of A. Okay, and an image of F, this will be always as a subring of R. Okay. Um, if A and R, so if A is not zero and R is also not zero, okay, if you are both different from zero, uh, they are not the zero rings, then we can say that the kernel of F is a proper ideal. Now some obvious characteristics of ideals. For instance, if you have a ring and if you have here an ideal, 
so an ideal from a commutative ring. If the ideal has the element one, the um, uh, multiplicative identity. So if one is in the ideal, this means that the ideal is the same as the ring. Why? Well, very easy. Any element R that belongs to R, 1 times R will be here. So all the elements in the ring will be in the ideal. So the ring will be the ideal. OK. OK. Uh, and we, co we can also see that if, if the ideal has an unit, OK, uh, the unit times its inverse will all will be one, right? So the ideal will have all the units and all its inverses, okay? So the ideal will be the same as the commutative ring, okay? Okay. Now, if you look at all this and Okay, picking this, if, if, if the multiplicative identity is in the ideal, then the ideal will be the same as the ring. Now, suppose the ring is not only a ring, but it is a field. Okay, so if R is a field, then the only ideals in the field will be only zero or the field itself. Okay. If it is zero, we already saw that example. If it is a field, any element in the field, any element here in the field will be a unit. Every non-zero element, every non-zero element in the in the field, every non-zero element in the field is a unit. If you pick R, if R is in a field, in a field, R is a unit. So if R is a unit, U times the inverse will be one. Okay. So the only possibility is the only possible field is the the only possible uh, possible ideal will be the field itself so a field has only two ideals either zero or the field itself